Okay, so what we're going to be looking at is what um, what I can do by embedding a so-called subpage inside of another smaller viewport. So there's a couple uses for this function. First of all, this list here that really doesn't do anything. It's just kind of a demonstration of, of some single joined object and I happened to make 15 of them on this little page and then stuck them in here and I never really did much with it so but this isn't any type of generated smart list or anything it's literally 15 buttons on a page that's too big for its own window and the window then scrolls so this is great for things like up here when I want to have a little scrolling bar now in Crestron this would be a a uh, horizontal list item or something, but it's just not quite as easy to do this um, the way I want it to do. A lot of these things I want to be able to just generate their own icon based on a join number or some other configuration parameter. So, so that's a kind of a simple use for it. And that way I just drop buttons on here. If I need to add a button, I make the page a little bit wider and it'll just show up over there on that side. So um, kind of a cool eye candy feature is what I call a map view don't know of a better name for this but I have this floor plan for this big house we've been working on and right now it's kind of sparsely populated with icons that say what happens to be playing in a certain room so in Grace's office here we're watching the Apple TV I touch that the interface then switches over to the Apple TV page pretty easy go back to the map Go over here, kitchen, direct TV, touch that. Well, I want to fire up the iPod, so I'll go over here and hit iPod instead. Nothing on the iPod right now, but I can go back to the map view, and now there is an iPod icon showing right in its place. So, so all of these little buttons and these objects and these animation, um, essentially what are little animation objects, dropped on here invisible buttons text fields percentage text fields um, some things that need to be fixed there should be temperatures showing well if i was in the house actually in the house and not on my demo processor there would be text fields um, for uh, temperatures and stuff showing up in here and when I get far enough into this we're going to start seeing little icons appearing around the doors and the windows uh, to let you know if they're open or closed or if there's some other kind of faults plus we can do lighting and any sort of thing but but this page functionally is merely a big old big old page that's told to display in this window that's only I don't know 600 and some pixels by 1024 pixels wide so that way it you know it just shows as much as I can and ultimately I'll be able to pinch zoom and I haven't re-enabled that feature on here double tap to to enlarge it so but it is a fully functional page just like any other page on here you touch buttons it does things I touch a button happens to be a button here it does something so so that's kind of what I had in mind with the sub pages